So I'm Will Park with NVIDIA. We're here at the NVIDIA booth at GDC 2013. Talk a little about Project Shield and what you guys are demoing here behind you. Right, so we have Project Shield demoing right behind us. We have two things going on. We got Android game demos and we got PC to Project Shield streaming demos. And we're running those two games right back there. We have Borderlands 2 and Skyrim. And we're basically running those on GTX powered PCs to our Tegra 4 powered Project Shield. Can you talk a little about how this works and what a gamer would need on a PC side to have it work? Right, so basically all you need is a GTX 650 or higher graphics card in your PC and you'd have to have GeForce Experience installed and you'd, bring, you'd take your shield and uh, because it's powered by Tegra 4 it has all the horsepower to be able to talk to your computer and bring that game and stream it straight to the little the shield screen, the 5 inch uh, HD touch screen on shield. Now, you guys are showing it on a PC screen but talk a little about how it also also works on an HD TV. Right, so we have it on a PC over there and it's running at full resolution with max graphic settings and we're streaming that to Project Shield and it's getting the same exact benefits, right? Um, on the flip side, if you want to go one step further, you can actually HDMI it out to a big screen TV and take advantage of, you know, the bigger bigger resolution and obviously the bigger, bigger size. Yeah, and at uh, CES you guys actually were showing it on a 4K, so how how powerful are these games? Well, at CES we were showing, uh, I believe we were showing a Tegra 4i reference platform streaming to 4K. Um, so that wasn't Shield, but it's the same processor, uh, same processor family that's powering Project Shield. And exactly, they are powerful enough to drive not only the 4K display, which is 4,000 pixels across, but to drive their native displays, uh, the local displays at the same time. So you're driving both displays. Can you talk a little about for those PC gamers who have PC? titles like this, how it'll work back and forth, for instance, with uh, Steam. Yeah, so uh, whatever games you have on your PC, it could be standalone, it could be inside you know, your Steam library or even in Origin. Uh, what we do is we use GeForce Experience on the PC side and the Shield app on Project Shield and they talk to each other and let each other know what games do I have available for you. And it reads your library and lets you know, you know, I got Battlefield 3, I got Need for Speed, uh, and I got Borderlands 2. And whatever game you pick, if that's inside Steam, it'll fire up Steam on your PC and stream it straight to here, likewise for Origin. When it comes to the games you guys are showing over here behind you on, on the right, what are some of the titles on uh, Tiger 4 Project Shield? Yeah, so these are all all the games, Android games we're showing off are all optimized for uh, Tiger 4, so that means we bring in enhancements like uh, physics with our PhysX engine, you know, particle effects, volumetric smoke and fog, uh, higher textures, real-time lighting, specular lighting for the, those dynamic uh, shadows and cool, uh, rich, dense atmospheres. Um, and we're showing off about 20 games uh, on these guys, and they range, I'll just, you know, name a few. Um, we got Bloodsword, we got uh, Freestyle RC, We've, we have like the Conduit HD that just launched. Real boxing, that's a great one actually, good call, yeah. And Arma Tactics, I do like Arma Tactics.